Lots of Arkansans dream of being an Arkansas Game and Fish Commission wildlife officer. But it's something I've always wanted to do growing up. Always enjoyed the outdoors, spent time with my dad and my grandpa outside hunting and fishing. Like every boy in Arkansas, you want to work for Game and Fish. I'm an avid outdoorsman. Obviously, I love being out there. Translating a love for the outdoors into a career as an Arkansas Game and Fish Commission wildlife officer requires extensive training. The state's newest group of wildlife officers recently completed a rigorous training program at the Game and Fish Commission's H.C. Red Morris Training Center near Mayflower. Wildlife officer candidates go through almost four months of training, but first, they have to be selected. More than 600 people submitted applications for the most recent class. 16 were accepted. They go through a very grueling interview process as well. It takes almost six months just to be hired. Multiple interviews, backgrounds, physical fitness testing. And then once they've been selected, they come here to the training center. They show up on a Sunday evening. The 16-week training course doesn't start with the warmest welcome. Let's go to your door right now. This rude awakening is designed to test a cadet's response to stressful conditions. To see how well they can function in high stress situations. Also, during the peak times of the hunting season, they're gonna be called out repeatedly during the night, and so they will experience some sleep deprivation. We wanna make sure they can handle that. The training process turns toward a more traditional educational setting after the first week. They have their criminal law classes, their search and seizure, and that is a, a building block for what they're going to learn later on in, in the school. It starts out the basics, and then we start using them, teaching them how to apply those basics that we've taught them. Physical fitness is another important component of a wildlife officer's training. Because these officers will spend a great deal of time working around water, swimming has become a big part of the training regimen. We teach them how to tread water for extended periods of time and then also long distance swimming with, with various techniques to conserve energy. And then we've also tra traveled down to Malvern to the White Water Park and we put them in the uh, swift water training. They're actually swimming in rapids, they're doing water crossing, and they're doing actual recoveries of uh, simulated people being swept away in the water. Real world scenarios play an increased role in the training process as the cadet school progresses. Participants go through extensive live firearms training, but they also face simulations with non-lethal weapons such as paintball guns. We put the officers in situations of shoot, don't shoot situations. We also have an officer involved shooting to explain the dynamics and the, the science behind what happens in high stress gunfight encounters. Then we also do have some paintball training where they learn to use cover and concealment. They have a good time with that and it also it's a very good learning experience for them. Learning experiences are not in short supply at the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission's Wildlife Officer Training Center. Courses include everything from driving to public speaking to mixed martial arts. We even get into the forensic science of the wildlife, learning how to identify wildlife by, by meat structure, scales. We have uh, identification classes for commercial fish, waterfowl ID. For me, I didn't have any law enforcement background coming into this. So it was eye-opening to me, the law enforcement aspect of it, but there's a lot of building relationships with uh, the public in general, uh, educating the public from young kids through hunter education, boater education, uh, up through adults that may not know some of the regulations or why we have some of the regulations. The training here has really went past my expectation physically and the mental aspect of it. So I've, I've received more than what I, I counted on. At the end of 16 weeks, the difference between the incoming cadet and an Arkansas Game and Fish wildlife officer becomes clear. I see how they grow, how they develop, how they become professional, and it's, that's what we want to instill in them. Honor, integrity, pride, and professionalism. That's our main goal here. We want them to be the best that they can be. We want them to be survivors and we want them to be winners.